He said, I assume it's going to be. Shalom. Giving our praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakah Akbodas, double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to the hopeful elect. The day of doom is coming to the end of the heathen Esau Adam. The wicked, referring to Malachi 1 and 4, they are the wicked who the Lord created strictly for the day of evil. And that day of doom is coming. This is the seventh, second Ezra 7, chapter 43, verse, verse. But the day of doom shall be the end of this time. What is the end of this time? The end of this time is Esau is the end of the world. Let me get that. Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. Let's go to 2nd Ezra, I think it's 96. Taking every six and nine. Let's go there. Let's see if that's that. Second every six, chapter nine, first. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. Going back to second every seven. Forty-three. Just keeping the precepts in order. But the day of doom shall be the end of this time. We just went over Esau is the end of the world. And his, his end is the day of doom. The re glorious return of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah. The only begotten Son of Yahweh, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. Paleo Hebrew is coming back. The true name of the Lord is coming back as a mystery to his elect that he's going to reveal his secrets. Only to his saints to serve as the prophets. The day of doom shall be the end of this time. That's the name of this lesson. Based off 2nd Ezra 7, chapter 43, verse, try to do a Bible lesson every day. The God of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. The God of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. On to the next one. Giving all praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Bahashem Rakaha Kodash. Double honors to the elder apostles of great millstone, starting with Elder Taha all the way down, who I who rule well that I learn from every day. Shalom to the Akim. On to the next one. Shalom.